Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server with me, ZF, and with my lovely Zadvancementy trophies, which today we will be receiving, hopefully, another one of, as we will be putting the die into interdimensional. But first, some things around the base, and the egg hunt is now over, and the results are in. Look at this. I came joint third with stress, cub, impulse, beef, and Cleo. <laughs> um, yeah, so with three people didn't manage to find our eggs because I managed to find all of mine. And they were here, 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 and here. And that is how you ruin a word. It just sounds like an exhale. Hair. Hair. <laughs> Bit like a villager as well, actually. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much, Jevin, for sorting out the Easter egg hunt. Thoroughly enjoyed both um, hiding and finding all the eggs. Though I must say, after doing 18 eggs hiding in various people's bases, I felt like I was an expert at then finding them again because, yeah, I knew all the little secrets of where to hide them. So I just looked there in my base and it wasn't too bad. I think it took me just under an hour to find them all. But um, you might notice we have stood upon our mineral beacon right now of Emerald, which is now completed. And also since last episode, the iron has been completed and the coal there has been completed too. So we've just gone from three to six beacons done. Um, but it wasn't all me. I actually had some help. Look at this, this pyramid sponsored by I Immortal. This just popped up. I thought, hang on a minute, I didn't do that. I was about halfway done. And then all of a sudden I was like, did I do it in my sleep or something? No, um, Impulse, our friend came over and uh, apparently decided to just give us one and um, sponsor himself. <laughs> so that's totally fine. Um, it's all good. Uh, we would have got the emeralds anyway. My villager uh, trading hall thingy down there has been pumping them out good and proper. I've not even really been trying very hard. So that's totally fine. Um, wish you'd have picked a different uh, beacon though, Impulse, to help with. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. We're uh, we're getting good work here, and I hear Cub as well might be interested in um, giving me some quests to finish off the old diamond beacon. Gold has uh, seen some improvements as well. They are getting there, folks. They are getting there indeed. But uh, there has been one suggestion that people have suggested we do to these, and I listen. We hop, a skip, a jump, and place like that. There you go. That's pink. That's not red. What's going on? <laughs> do I do I have to add multiple? Oh, I do. I did not know that's how that worked. Okay, all right, so let's just add, like, a whole bunch, shall we? <laughs> Does that get so red? Ooh, that gets super red. Okay, so let's look at it from a distance. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow. Blue, 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 blue. Ooh. I went with a nice light grey for iron because, you know... It's already, the beam's already white, so uh, <laughs> don't change it. Oh, ugh, that looks, I don't like that. That looks gross. That looks like a wet beam. You know how like dogs, when they get wet, they go that color? Yeah, ugh. of course, a lovely, nice, limey color. Oh, oh no, oh dear. Coal will be black. Very nice. Our piddly little diamond one, a nice light blue. And now the copper one is going to be interesting as we're going for the, the most sort of bluey copper, bluey greeny copper on the bottom. And then each layer we go up, we're going back up to the normal kind of orangey copper here. So I've done the best I could um, and found, where are they? We're going uh, this first, then cyan, then brown, and then orange for the different colors of copper. Um, we'll just have to like work it out uh, when, we, when, when we get the right layers in, but let's just chuck them in for now. Okay, I've placed my last ones in. I've not checked this out yet. I think it's going to look disgusting. Uh, you know what? Actually, that doesn't look that bad. It's kind of interesting when the beam really changes color and like mixes up as it goes along. I don't know. I don't know. I am a bit confused, though, how like this one is a gradient from like white to blue. Whereas, where is it? Like this one was just instantly green. And, and this one was instantly like cyan -y blue. Like, what's happening? Like, why, why are you gradient? But now let's talk about today's Z advancement. Portals, they are super wibbly wobbly. And I wanted to do something, something, anything 
um, Zed advanced my tea with them, and I came up with what I think might be an incredibly fun challenge to attempt, and something that hopefully has never been achieved before by anybody, and it is, of course, inter- dimensional. This is the trophy we are hoping to fully achieve and gold up um, if we can uh, pull this off today. But pull what off exactly? Well, here is the game plan. In Minecraft, we have three dimensions. The overworld, the nether, and the end. I can travel between all three of them. Look at me go! But I would also like to be able to arrow myself through all three portals. We'd start in the nether, and fire an arrow. The arrow would go through into the overworld, through an end portal into the end, and we would follow it, and hopefully it hit us right in the face. Simple, right? A 3D kill. So I think clearly the first thing to do is recklessly just fire an arrow straight through the portal without a care in the world. Okay, <laughs> I, I don't know what's on the other side of it, but hopefully we can follow that arrow all the way through, and it will have landed somewhere. Somewhere. Did it not land somewhere? Oh, it's gone this way. Okay, it's gone backwards. Interesting, there is my arrow. Fired very nicely. I moved these guys out of the way. <laughs> we don't want to ruin our mob stackle. Um, but I would like to get something. Any kind of magma cubey thing or, or something that can be shot at. So that we can, uh, we can test that things actually die on the other side of it when that arrow hits them. Willing participants found. And I must say, this has got a real creepy, <laughs> creepy vibe to it, has it not? Look at this one. That is super creepy. I don't know. I'm a bit freaked out, which is perfect because we need to absolutely mow these down, I hope. Fingers crossed. Okay, and we got to fire this way and we go. Watch out. Watch out. All the directions. Why are some of them going straight, like, through, through the portal? Watch out. Watch out. And we try and angle some over there as well. Get the ones hiding around the corners. We get the ones hiding down there. Down below. Up high. Over the corner. Round there. Fire one this way. Over here as well. Up, down, left, right. And I think that might have done some some damage, I hope. Um, this one went, like, literally through. <laughs> okay. Which is a bit odd. Right, so we're facing this way, but all the damage is back here. Oh, my word. Oh, it's horrendous. Oh, look, that one's all on fire and he's lifted his leg. <laughs> oh, pick them all up. Okay, so that clearly works um, very, very nicely. <laughs> I just imagine someone coming to visit me and just suddenly being like, wait, what's all these What's all these, these armor stands doing here? And then just seeing like this absolute tirade of fire arrows. <laughs> <laughs> flying through the portal, just taking them all out. Boop! Okay, very nice. Let me get the rest of this cleaned up and we'll move on to the next stage, which is going to be replacing the arrows, if possible, with some anvils. Basically, big chunky fat arrows, if you think about it. Now, I seem to remember that um, falling block entities don't go through portals, which is a real shame, um, but I've got a little, uh, little punchy block here set up and we're going to try and drop the anvil and push this so that it like pings through the portal. Um, worst case, and what I think is going to happen is it's just going to end up on the other side over here. But we'll give it a try if my dexterity is enough. Three, two, one, bum, bum. I completely missed. <laughs> bum, bum. Oh. Okay. Hold on. So it did definitely get pushed, and yeah, it it didn't go through the portal. Sad news. Let me try it again. Boom. Oh look, that went further that time, and it's ruining my anvil. No, unfortunately, these do not travel through nether portals, which is a real shame. But hold on one second, there is more to life than nether portals. We have whoa, the end portal as well, so I guess we should just throw everything through. Drop you down. No idea where that's gone. Um, and let's fire a couple of arrows as well. One over there and one over there. Hop on in ourselves. Oh! Okay, <laughs> ah, that's a bit terrifying. I heard anvil clonk, um, and I thought maybe I had been kasplatted. I wonder what would happen if I was already stood here, would I have got kasplatted? And for a second here, can we just appreciate the fact that they do go through end portals, but not nether portals for some reason? That is so weird, I don't know why. Picky, picky portals. Um, but the plan here, uh, I actually have no idea. I think what I'm gonna wanna do, um, oh, I've not got any pick or anything <laughs> to break any blocks. I was going to say we want to, like, put this up higher and, and sort of fall in, but maybe I can kind of, like, right-click as I go forward. No idea what's going to happen. 
Oh, I heard the placing noise. Oh, I'm holding it still. Again, we try again, and this time I'm gonna perch myself right on the very edge, and we're gonna place it officially first, and make sure we see it before we hop in. So here we go, and place down. Okay, here goes. Oh. It's nowhere to be found. It's nowhere to be found. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. If I get my camera account on and I fly over to the stronghold, I wonder if the chunks load <laughs> and I'll suddenly just get splattered. Okay, I've logged into my camera account. I have no idea where the end portal place is to, to like fly to, but I'm hoping if I just fly around, all of a sudden the chunk will load, maybe? Barely! Okay. Ow! <laughs> Alright, I think we I think we better go back to arrows um, so that we could go through all three. So the next challenge that we have to overcome somehow is the fact that these arrows immediately go through the portal, whereas I take two, three, four, a good like four or five seconds to wibble wobble my way through. Um, which is no good. So on the other side, we're gonna have to kind of keep the arrow in some kind of uh, suspended animation, but that has led me to this thing. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready. Huh. Oh, it went straight through. Bit more gentle. Gah! Huh. Huh. <laughs> nice and gentle. <laughs> Utter destruction. And this is what is powering it on the other side. The vengeful portal. Um, we've got eight dispensers with the arrows in. Target block in the middle. So as soon as you shoot that target block, but from the other side, it just spits out eight arrows back through the portal again. Can I even... Maybe I can show it off. Hang on, if I stand here and go... Hada, ha! There we go, okay, so I didn't actually get hit, but <laughs> back through the portal, there should be um, a collection of arrows, all jabbed in the floor somewhere. Yeah, there we go, look at that, it's perfect. Hello, what is this, Octodrop token? Thank you very much, that's monies. Octodrop, XP crafted. You are hereby challenged to master Octodrop, located in the mini submarine of the giant octopus. Your three slowful potions and payment for your first attempt are included. Look at this! You gotta fall through his ma Okay, we will be going to do this shortly. Um, but we got some more arrow fun to do first. Now I thought I would give the other hermits a quick little test to see whether they knew that projectiles could come flying out of the portal into their face. I'm gonna give them a fair chance. I'm gonna let them know that there is a, a trap here and I've put some, some red herrings around the place here. Look at this. Empty dispenser. <laughs> they won't know what's hit them. Literally, because look. There is nothing through the portal at all, and yet arrows will come flying out. Let's do this. I've trapped the this little mini tunnel here to my portal with a potentially deadly trap. Okay. Um, well, I mean... <laughs> I just want you to tell me if you can, can find it or not. I mean, there's a few different possible ones here. You've got A, an observer, B, a pressure plate, C, floating blocks, D, a... Button. Uh... Would it possibly be the the pressure plate? I mean, if you want to stand on it and try. Oh, that's not the trap. No. <laughs> no, don't do it. I don't. Oh no. Oh no. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Come on. Get out of here. I am busy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was that the trap? I wish it was. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool, right? There is a tripwire hook which doesn't go to anything, although I assume that would activate the observer. Do you want to try pressing something? Is it going to kill me? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to find out. Uh, what do you mean? I don't want to find out if I'm going to die. Also, is this trap? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to like hop skip over it, you know? It seems like a good idea. Should I step on the pressure plate? If you would like to. Gulp. <gasps> That didn't do it either. There's a button here, though. <laughs> yeah, the button didn't do it. What the you're very brave, B. If you're pressing things, you're doing stuff. I'll give. You, I'll, I'll. I'll show you, Pa. I'll show you the magic. Okay. If you stand on the second light block on the floor, away from the portal. 
<laughs> Don't trust that trip wire. <laughs> okay. Not trust it. You have to look very deeply into the portal, okay? Just look at the swirls, look at the patterns. You noticing anything? Okay. I'm I'm looking real deep. I feel like I'm staring into my soul a little bit. Like is it swirly, is it hypnotizing me or something, you know? Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh, look at that arrow, it's glitching. <laughs> it's a jiggling Wait, arrow. Wait, what? Shall I tell you, people? I'll, I'll put you out of your misery and put you into some other misery. Okay. Okay, if you stay exactly where you are and you look very, very closely at... See the, the purple pixels of the portal? Yes. They're all swirly around. If you, like, look at those really closely and zoom in, what do you see? Um, purple pick. Oh, my goodness! Oh, wow! What is... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Hold on. How is that happening? <gasps> They're coming through the portal? Oh my god! <laughs> you got it. You got it. Well That's done. amazing. Hold on a second. Interdimensional security. Can you get rid of that jiggling arrow? <laughs> or is it forever going to jiggle? It's, it's just jiggling. It's like a, a jiggle, 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 yeah, 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 jiggle, jiggle. jiggle, jiggle. I quite like it. I hope it stays there forever. See you, babe. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Fireballs happening. I'm getting out of here. I'm leaving. Okay. Uh, we appear to have a visitor bringing us um, another mob to dangle. Yes, not only do we have a llama, but we actually have a trade llama as well. Can you pre-dangle trade llama? <laughs> there you go. Wow. Oh, this one's got some bounce to it. Thank you so much. Now, back to the task at hand and the problem with stasis arrows. Again, this is no good because the dispenser gets the credit for the kill and not me with my own arrows. So we do need to have our very own arrow held in some kind of stasis chamber um, on the other side. So uh, let's try and work on that. I've got a couple of ideas. Firstly, it's using the bubbly bubbles. If we very, very carefully just do the tiniest... Oh, the tiniest little one, just like that, there we go. And then we head through the portal without picking up our own arrow. Although no, we can't because we're using an infinity bow. So that helps a lot. There you go. Look, that arrow came through <laughs> and it's chilling out there. It's Pearl's jiggly arrow all over again. And the interesting thing about this is it won't hit me. It hit me. <laughs> oh my goodness. It hit me right in the bow. Look at that. It wanted to go home. Well, yeah, jiggle arrows are a thing and this totally just keeps the arrow safe. But then it's like, how do you get it off of there? You have to build like a like a slime pusher that like kicks the arrow off that just sort of goes like pacha or something like that. Yes, that's exactly what you do. Fire in the hole, boob. Oh, maybe that doesn't work. But that only went and gone done did give me yet another idea that's behind me now. Who needs water when the arrows just stick into blocks? Like this, they just stick there and stay there. So then if I push this pressure plate and make the slime block go, what's gonna happen? I don't know. It works. Yes, I'm on fire as well. <laughs> no, put me out, I can't fit in the crack. Oh boy, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, pumpkin's coming through, ready? Blah! Oh wow, it's interesting that only one arrow hits you at a time. I'm still on fire. Okay, another issue with this. Um, so we'd be like stood here on the other side of the portal, right? And we're firing our arrow through the portal. It would come through to the overworld and stick into a block like this. Then when this pushes the other way, it's gonna just go back through the portal again. We don't want that. We actually wanna change the direction of the arrow. For instance, like the end portal, pretend it's like here or something like that. We want it to be able to go down that way. So what I'm intrigued at trying out now is if we get a block like this, we flip the piston around. Um, let's actually replace that out with some proper blocks, shall we? Um, now this piston that's, it was like fired from this direction. If we fire this slime block, Guess is down in the comments below, which way is it gonna go? Is it gonna go the same direction or is it gonna like just fall down or what? I don't know, do you know? I'm gonna try it. Ready? It stays exactly still. <laughs> Ooh, okay, playing with this a little bit more and I think we might actually have something. Okay, so here's my pretend nether portal. I'm in the nether right now. This is the overworld and this is the portal to the end portal, right? If we hit this slime block, right on the edge like that. And then when we fire this, watch what happens. Look at that straight. It did go the way we wanted it to go. It's a bit unpredictable. If we do another one, boom. Oh, well, that was very predictable. Okay, thanks for showing me up. Maybe we try at the top there. 
Look at, wow, that one. <laughs> that one went flying. The end portal was right here. I don't know. Let's try, let's try one at the back, one at the front, one at the bottom, one at the top. Let's, oh, it's already been extended. Okay, four of them are back on. Let's see where they all go. Incredibly different. Two stayed on, one fell down, one went there. I don't know, but it works. And as long as it works some of the time, it's good enough for me. <laughs> And here is the final setup. I hope, at least anyway, we're going back to the bubbly water stream. It was just a bit more reliable than uh, having them stuck into the slime block itself because we have another issue, right? I was playing around with this a little bit and if you just kind of like drop an arrow in, right? So if we just kind of did something like this, oh, it, I guess that works. But if we was to, you know, put it on a block and just drop the block down, that's all well and good. But then when we hop over to the end here, the trouble is, what happens is there's not enough time. They kind of spawn like in the middle of the air right here. And very much like how if I just do this, oh, no, 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 if I just do a baby one straight up, there you go. See how that arrow didn't actually hit me. It didn't go into me. Um, arrows must have a sort of like half a second delay before they're actually able to, to like penetrate something. I don't know. So uh, once they appear in the end floating above here and they just fall down that little half a block, it's not enough to actually hit me so we need the arrows to be coming in a little bit more of a crazy angle like that not just straight down so having the slime block pusherator there with the water and the arrow floating in the middle it's just a lot more reliable to get a sort of ding like a sideways arrow going through this portal rather than just like a little tinkle drop down arrow if that makes any sense at all um, and then all i've done here is set up a little pressure plate um that goes around some repeaters here on a little bit of a delay to boop make the slime block actually push itself. So the plan is, we'll be stood in the nether, we'll do a little tiny arrow through so that then it lands in here. We will come through ourselves and we will come and stand waiting over here. And then when we are ready to go, we just walk backwards over the pressure plate. We go into the end first. And then um, after a short little bit of time, the arrow itself flings through after us, hopefully hitting us in the face. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. We are gonna do this in one long continuous take without cuts because this bow is going to put an arrow through three dimensions and into my face. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Okay, right. Uh, we wanna go through to the nether and once we go, goodbye. There we are, loading terrain. Ha, huh, magma cube. Please don't jump up here. Okay, right, we wanna do a tiny little arrow. Tiny, tiny little arrow. Like that. Yep, that's bubbling around in the water. Wonderful. Back we go. Okay. One dimension covered. And... Oh, okay. Oh, I'm at a different portal, but that's totally fine. There's our arrow. Here's the pressure plate. We are going to move backwards like so. And into the thing. And... <laughs> yes, it actually worked! ZF was shot by ZF using all three dimensions. <laughs> oh, that arrow. Wow, that's been on a journey. Oh, and what a shot as well, right in the shoulder. <laughs> it's perfect, but there is some very sad news. I got my arrow back and I got my head, but I think my bow fell off the edge. Oh, unless... Oh, maybe it landed on the ledge. Please have landed on the ledge. I would love, that was my good bow. My good bow. Oh no, please. <laughs> oh, it's there. It's there. Oh, oh Bowie. Watching back the footage, you can see me. You see me throw Bowie, boop, all the way over there. What a throw. It's incredible. <laughs> and with that success under our belt, Boop. We can officially replace the trophy out with a nice golden one. I love it. Go away, stupid. Ah. Mm. Oh, hey, look. And I think that took us long enough that our beacon has been officially completely oxidized now, which is perfect. That means we can go and layer it up in the colors that we have always dreamt. Let's grab some of the beeswax that we have over here. Very nice. Grab a whole stack of that. And we can start waxing this up so that it will never change ever, ever again. Right, we want to wax up the whole bottom layer in this nice uh, turquoisey blue. Then we want to shave off one singular layer and wax that ready so that it doesn't change anymore. Followed by two layers off the next one. 
And finally, the top bit can get fully deoxidized again. We waited so long for this to oxidize, and now we're just going around cutting it all off. Ah, there we go. Okay, it's what we wanted, though. It's what we needed. That's the last bit, and we take a step back and check it out. Interesting stuff. Okay, there we go. That is the copper beacon kind of officially, officially done um, with all the colors as well. I love it. I love it. And I've actually been hiding some extra copper um, around the top of the base here, just kind of out the way, um, just to oxidize it up a little bit more. And we've got, we've got loads. Look, all this oxidized copper. It's great to store it in the oxidized form, and then you can always trim it back uh, for if you need it for any other building stuff. But there is a whole chest down here in the hall of all. Hello. <laughs> this one right here, this needs all the different types of uh, waxed copper, unwaxed copper in all the different levels. So hopefully we can finish up, other than these bits here, we can finish up this side of the chest of the whole of all two, which uh, is really coming along rather nicely, isn't it? Don't you turn your butt to me. We still have one more mission to do this episode. XB invited us to Octo Drop, which is right behind me here. Apparently, there are all the rings <laughs> that we're going to have to drop down through. So we're going to be trying that out in just one second after I thank my lovely, glorious, wonderful patrons whose names are all over the screen right now. These people are part of Zedcraft, my community. A massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you for uh, being awesome and uh, helping to support me and the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But now, let's go sleep because it's getting dark. And then, Octodrop. So here we are inside the submarine. Uh, we got our free Octodrop token. There we go. And we have our potion of slow falling. Let's head right up to the top, I think. Okay, there's the rings. Red rings are worth more. So we really want to try and aim for those where possible. Um, normal rings are worth one. Oh, this looks like we're in some weird void world. <laughs> What's the difference between the black and the white rings? Oh no. I don't know my calamari. At the very top, what a view. Oh my word. Okay, here we go. Octo drop time, baby. We drink this. We throw that over there. And three, two, one, let's go. Okay, right through ring one. Ring two, excellent. What happens if I hit the rim? The ring rim. Oh no, can I sprint? Oh, I kind of hit the rim there. I don't know if that counts or not. And swing. Um, should I be? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm missing everything. Oh, I'm missing absolutely everything. No, never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Rings, please. <laughs> okay, is this the bullseye at the end? And land. We did it. Excellent. I have no idea whether I did goodly or I did badly. Hmm, okay, we did six normal rings and two red rings, so I believe that is 10 points I think we get. We will add that to the scoreboard. That was a lot of fun. Um, we do have a few more tries, but maybe, maybe we'll practice with something first. <laughs> Somewhere else, we'll just jump off some other things and have a little practice. But uh, last thing, before we end the episode today, as always, we have to look back at all of our advancements currently this season. Ones we have completed, ones we have not yet completed, and the ones on the screen right now, you can see exactly how we're doing. Look at that. I love it. I love this list just growing and growing. Um, as always, if you've got ideas for Z advancements, do let me know. Always happy to hear them. But until the next episode, everybody, a good, a bye.